welcome back to my channel. So I have three more wigs that I just got in that I want to do a review on. Um, these are all blonde wigs. They are shoulder length, ear length, and then shorter like my real hair is. Um, so it's been a really long time since you guys have seen my real hair. I think you guys have seen it once or twice. Um, but here it is in all of its glory. I just didn't want to switch back and forth between wigs and this video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we will jump in to the first wig. All right. So the first wig that we have here, her name is Cassia. And she is blonde. She does have a root to her. But she has this long hair right here. And that I'm not really loving. So, I'm going to cut it to what I do like. Um, because remember, if you like the color, which on this one I do. If you like the color, but there's something about the cut you don't like, if you can fix it, fix it. So, I'm going to fix her and then we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to try her on in her natural state so that you guys can see exactly what she looks like on me. Um, just in case you're interested in buying her um, but I'm gonna cut it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this let me turn it so you can see it I'm gonna cut this extra length right here so that it's more of a an a-line bob I'm gonna do it on both sides because she has extra hair over here as well um, this color is going to be 1488a number eight and so it's going to be rooted again uh, I do enjoy the rooted one just because it looks a little bit more natural. So um, let's go ahead and put her on. All right, so in between that time, I had to grab my mirror so I could see, um, just so I know what you guys are looking at. Um, but as you can see right here, it has this extra length that I'm not really that fond of. It has it on both sides. She is pretty shiny. Um, that's normally a telltale sign of fake hair. What I plan on doing is I'm going to put some dry shampoo on her just to kind of tone down the shininess on it. Because um, nobody's real hair is this shiny. Sorry, I was looking in the mirror. Um, but I, I like the color of it. It's light enough. It's color I've always wanted. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this at an angle so that all the hair is one length. So I'm going to make sure to take um, pictures to the side, the front, and the back so you guys can see everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the wig and try it back on. So give me just a few minutes. And I'm back. So, I took off quite a bit. Um, it was my fault when I put her on the mannequin head to cut her. Didn't have her straight like I thought I did. I thought that I had it, but I actually had it, this here is straight. I actually had it lopsided to where the part was over here. Um, so, I kind of freaked out for a second, um, but I was able to save it. And if my hairdresser sees this video, she's going to be like, Kim, you should have brought it to me. But I'm impatient. I like to do it now. So I went ahead and did it. And I do prefer shorter hair on me. So um, I'm completely okay with it. The only thing I'm not okay with is the shininess. I put some hairspray on it. It did not dull it down any. I'm going to have to get some dry shampoo and spray it on there also because it's really shiny. I do not like it whatsoever being this shiny. Um, uh, it looks very, very fake. So if you're not willing to put in the time and the effort, Cassia, this one, she is not, she's not worth it if you're not willing to put in the time and effort on her. I'm looking around for the, um, I was going to try and find the name of her, like the A name. I have it. Just a second. Okay, the A name is A0207. Again, Cassia. 
the size average, the 1488A number eight. So uh, if you're not willing to put in the time and effort with her, I do not suggest it. This wig is a wig that needs work. She's not gonna be an easy one. I'm gonna keep her just because I've already cut all the tags off and I cut the hair so I can't send it back. Um, but I think once I get it how I want it, take all the shininess out, um, the trim looks fine. I'm going to get pictures from the sides and the back. I think she'll be a good wig for me, uh, but I'm okay with putting in the extra effort, the few days to make sure that the hair is the way it needs to be, just because I'm pretty picky. The other thing I'm going to make sure to do is I always fix the part here, and then I add in concealer. So with the parts on these wigs, you will notice that they are zigzagged, and it's just to help it look more natural. But I prefer to take the zigzag out, have a flat part, and then put the concealer in to match my, um, my skin color. So um, that is something that I will be doing with this one also. But as of right now, like I said, I'm going to keep her. I just got to get some dry shampoo and tame down the shininess right now because it makes it look extremely fake and extremely cheap. It doesn't feel like a cheap wig, but it looks like one right now. So that's my biggest issue with this one. Um, if they could just take down the shininess, I think this would be a great wig. Maybe change the cut up a little bit. It was kind of an odd cut. Um, maybe not for five or six years ago. That cut would have been okay, I think, for then. But now, 2019, I think that cut was a little dated. Um, but... Anyhow, those are just my thoughts and opinions on this Polly Young wig. Go ahead and make sure to subscribe, leave any comments below, any questions that you have, and I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do my other three wigs, so stay tuned.